Okay, let's look at that Amy Winehouse song. So, first thing we want to know is that it's, it's in the key of E flat major. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So the song starts on an A flat major seven chord. A flat in your left hand, G, B flat, C, and E flat in your right hand. So here's what we're working with. So this second chord is a D7 sharp 9 chord. So we have D in your left hand, double octave. Then in your right hand you have F sharp, B flat, C, and F. So from the top. And then repeat that back to that A flat major 7 chord. The same chord we started out with. So, from the top. So now, we're going to go to, uh, I believe it's C, uh, a C7 augmented flat 9 chord. I don't know how you say it. C augmented 7 or whatever. But anyway, you have C in your left hand. In your right hand you have B flat, C sharp, E, and A flat. And then for that, that next chord, you're going to stay on C. Keep everything the same except for your pinky, which is going to go down to a G. Then after that, you're going to take these three fingers and go to an A flat major seven chord, A flat, C, E flat, and go to F in the bass. So it'll be that, drop the pinky, and go here. So we got. Now, next chord, you want to go to an A flat minor 9 chord. A flat in your left hand, you have G flat, B flat, B, and E flat in your right hand. If you want to, you can just play an A flat minor chord and go straight here to a G minor chord. But right now, we have this A flat minor 9 chord, and we're going to go here. Actually, I'll go, we'll play that. Or you can just play a B flat major chord over a G, or however you want to do it. So you have G in your left hand, F, B flat, and D in your right hand. Or if you want, you can do F and G with your thumb, B flat, D and maybe F like this, or you can add the C in there if you want. So from the top. Then we're going to go to a C7 flat 9 chord. That's just a C in your left hand, a G, B flat, C sharp, and E in your right hand. It looks like a G diminished chord, or B flat, or C sharp, or E diminished chord. But, uh, dominant 7 flat 9 chords are diminished in their quality. So this is what you get. So. Back to this A flat major seven chord. Here are the basic. First, you have F in your bass. You're gonna have A flat, C, E flat, and G in your right hand. If you wanna expand, you have in your left hand. You can go F, C, G, and then A flat, C, E flat, uh, G. 
So from the top we have. just you can stay on this chord or right before you go to this uh this chord again this sorry about that my camera stopped recording and i completed the lesson while it wasn't recording and uh, i had good content but i'll try to do it again so where we were so i was going to tell you about the little passing chord so you can stay on this chord or you can you know do a little fill in one of the fill ins i do is this right here So after this chord, you can do this roll from the D to the E and hit an E flat major chord in your right hand, B flat, E flat, and G. So, uh, this is F minor nine. Keep the same chord in your right hand, you're going to go to a B flat in your left hand, and keep the same chord, A flat, C, E flat, and G. Now, you're going to take these two fingers down, and you're going to play A flat, B, D, and G over B flat as well. And what you can do is you can roll the chord down, G, D, B, A flat. And then go to an E flat, 6, 9 chord again, that's E flat. G, C, and F. And then you're going to go to this B altered chord. B7 altered. And there's your um, augmented fifth right there. So we've got B, A, C sharp, E flat, and F. Then you're going to go back to this E flat 6 9 chord. E flat, G, C, F. And then back to this B altered chord. So B, A, C sharp, E flat, and F. Then you repeat the song. So, so far what we have is this. That's the whole song. So at the end, when they keep going, they just go back and forth between these two chords. E flat six nine and this B altered. like a gospel thing uh, but you don't have to do that just a little try to own thing right here this is a B flat uh, 7 flat 9 chord that's your 13 here and what you can, you can do is you can take this and you can roll the chord down so a flat, B flat with your left hand, and play this chord with your right hand, B, D, E, and G, and roll it. If you want to solo and play around on it, this A, a flat uh, major seven chord, you can use a E flat pentatonic, B flat, F, G, B flat, and C, which is the same as C minor pentatonic, C, E flat, F. G. 
Uh, this one you can use uh, for this D7 chord. You can use um, the Super Logarin. That's what I'm using. The Ultra Scale. So we got half step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, whole step. D, E flat, F, F sharp, G sharp, B flat, C, and and D. And that's the scale that, that I'm using over this chord. And here's a little uh, shape you can use with your pinky, ring, all these, these runs. Over this C7 chord, you can use Super Locarin, or you use the half hold diminished scale, half, starting from C, half, whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step. You want, want to land on, you know, a target tone for the next chord. This is our chord, F minor 9, and landing on the third is a strong way to do it. Landing on the seven is good. Uh, or the five, the five. So however you do it, do it. Another C minor pentatonic over this F. We go to this A flat minor nine chord that I showed you. You can play it. Play the A flat Dorian scale. That's just that's just an F sharp major scale over this uh, A flat minor nine chord. Every time you're on the C seven, you can use that. That's right. Depending on how you voice the chord, you have the you grab like an augmented fifth in there or something. You can, you can always use the um, super open. Or you can probably use the whole tone scale here. Depends on which what you want. And over this B7 chord, of course, anytime you're over a 7 chord, you use a super Locarin scale or a, a half whole diminished scale. For this B7 altar right here, I'm using a B Lydian scale. So, a, a B Lydian dominant scale is what I'm using. So, so the scale I'm using, just think about the B major scale over this B chord. So, what I'm doing is I'm sharpening the four. That's your sharp eleven, which is your Lydian voice right here, which is important. It's your Lydian sound. This scale is a Lydian dominant, so we'll take the major seven in this B major scale, uh, this B major scale, and we want to flat that one to the dominant scale. So it's a Lydian dominant scale: B, C sharp, E flat, F, F sharp, A flat, A, and B. This, this B Lydian dominant scale is the same as an F super Locarian scale. Just starting on F. And it's, a, it's just a tritone sub away from each other, so that's why you can use the same scale over this altar. So an F7 chord wants to resolve to a B flat 6 9 chord, so. You do a tritone sub, this B altar would work. You're resolving to a B flat major chord. But this song we're doing, this right here to here, hey look, you can use the same thing because look, B flat 6 9, B flat 6 9 is the same as E flat 6 9. So you can use the same scale to resolve here. So that's your little 
ideas you can do over this, so I don't want this video to be too long. If I knew the song better, I'd play it better, but <laughs> just learned it not too long ago. Okay, thank you. All right. If you have a, a song that you want to learn, uh, put it in the comment section and I'll learn it. Put up a tutorial for it. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment, and thank you for listening.